Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to E46 channel. My name is Indrit and today I'm here to show you how grateful I am uh, towards your uh, awesome support. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And if you guys remember on the last video, I got you a uh, discount on the VPIC OBD. Uh, I'm doing the same thing in this video and this time is for something even better. Uh, Apart the discount, uh, I'll answer the question which one is the best OBD that is out there and that is has a reasonable price and that can do a lot more than just an, an OBD. And I'm talking about Carly. So yes guys, I got you a discount on this. It's gonna be on the description, but it's gonna be just uh, temporarily. And uh, so why is Carly the best OBD that is out there? It's because with this one you can discover fraud uh, regarding German engineering. Uh, they say one in three cars uh, has the odometer and other stuff uh, changed. So the dealership or whoever have done it, they don't want you to see what's wrong with the car or other things so they can uh, rip you off. So that's one feature that Carly uh, can do. It's about resetting the service. So let's start with the oil change. Every oil change, you have to reset the uh, the uh, the dash, the the icon there. So you can do that with Carly. But in the newer BMWs, I'm going to focus on BMW since I own a BMW. Uh, you have to reset uh, the battery as well. So if you change the battery, you have to reset the service so the car can recognize it. And of course diagnostic that every other car does uh, real stats or real data from your uh, car uh, of course the best feature about Carly is the coding or unlocking the hidden features that your car has but you didn't know about and uh, I've used other OBDs a lot actually and uh, I've even tried to use uh, NCS expert uh, it is doable I admire the guys that use that are able to use and do not cause any problem to their cars uh, but with Carly everything is so much easier and I'm gonna show you that guys in just one second so stay tuned most of the OBD ports are located under the steering wheel on the side or under the uh, footwell uh, so on the BMW on the E90 at least it is located on the side of the panel here mine is a bit uh, broken it doesn't stay there so anyways I'm gonna hold it with my hand and just open the cover and it's straight very straightforward guys so I'm gonna keep this open like that and just plug it Come on. Okay, there you go. And once you plug it, you should see a light on on the very first over there. I'm gonna keep the car on, guys. Like I'm gonna start the car like normal. You can uh, even uh, uh, put the key in there without pressing the clutch or the brake pedal. You can just uh, click the start button or if it's a key then you can uh, put it uh, place it on the second uh, click so you can turn the ignition but do not start the car but anyway so on this car it, it works uh, by just starting the car so I don't wanna uh, use this app while it's in in battery anyway so go we go to settings and uh, on under the Wi-Fi we're gonna choose Carly adapter and once it says connected and there we go so we'll exit that and we'll go under the Carly app and uh, I've already uh, chosen my uh, car model so it is an E90 and that's right there and it's a uh, gasoline it's a 2006 and then click uh, connect 
it connects really quick and it should say that you are good to go and there it is guys so okay good to go then we go ahead and this is what we see this is the cockpit regarding the the app uh, I have uh, downloaded the app it's uh, an iPhone app the Carly uh, app is uh, compatible with uh, Android and uh, iOS but of course I'm using the iPhone here and anyways so once it says it shows connected then we'll go ahead and click diagnostic and see what we get uh, on the previous video guys I showed you that uh, what very sophisticated and very advanced uh, OBDs can do and uh, when we are talking about Carly it can do even more so you're gonna see I do have a few uh, things wrong with my car and you're gonna see the code there in just one second uh, I haven't had time to, to work with them but I'll uh, get to it as soon as I can and uh, some of them are not as it says there that not every code implies a defect but anyways we'll go ahead and see so we have two codes on the ECU I'll click later here and it is the triggering GLF and this is something that is wrong on my car and lambda probe on the catalyst signal it is the O2 sensor uh, on the bank too behind the cats anyways so there you see and if you need more information then you can just click on that and there is the uh, ABS uh, I'll click on the info here and see so as you guys can see it gives you a lot of information about the the problem and anyways so it gives you all the modules and where there is something wrong you see there is uh, in red a fogging sensor I don't know what that means but uh, sunroof okay so there's a sunroof I don't have any problem with my sunroof here but anyway as I said there are problems uh, that do not uh, imply anything do not imply an effect uh, defect and this one here yes on the FRM module I do have uh, the reverse lights that are not working it says open door contacts open door contacts back front and folded in mirror passenger side I do not have any problem with the front and rear uh, doors or the back doors or the folded uh, mirror but anyways and if you want to uh, clear all the data then you can just select all the folds and then you can start clearing it takes a little bit it doesn't take much and uh, okay there we have it clearing is finished and after that we'll go back and uh, so at the reports there uh, we could so I'll go to show results and we can even go to reports on the upper right I have already saved uh, some reports for my information there and uh, yeah there it saves it under the it's called digital garage anyways so we'll go back to the cockpit and used cars like I said uh, the Carly used car check helps you avoid a bad buy so if you guys uh, are about to buy another car take Carly with you and then do the check and it's gonna show you <coughs> the real parameters of the car not what you can see and it's really great to have uh, coding I'm gonna leave that for later the digital uh, garage I just showed you guys there so there is some uh, information I've saved some reports I've saved on, under the digital garage and uh, something else the parameters if you go to parameters here you can see uh, pedal sensor potential you can see a lot of information regarding whatever you are interested at this point I'm just gonna go back to the uh, iDrive I do not have an iDrive but uh, if you do that's another option another feature that uh, Carly offers service reset so I'm gonna go to read all service data 
and uh, we'll see what it's gonna show. So six parameters, okay. And I'm gonna click under the info here and you guys see current status of brakes, front remaining lifespan, 87,360 kilometers, which is 74% and service count two. So there is only done two services under my brakes in the previous, uh, with the previous owners, which for 2006 and it's 2019, that is not great. So it shows that the car is being uh, poorly treated. Anyways, so if we go under the rear, oh sorry, under the rear we have five service counts. I mean that doesn't make sense when there are only two in the front, there are five in the rear when most of the braking happens on the front wheels. Anyways, oil changing, there is 11 and uh, it's 88% left. Brake fluid, seven uh, brake fluids changed. That's actually a lot for a 13 year old car. It's like almost every two years. The brake fluid doesn't go bad that quick guys. But anyways, uh, spark plugs being changed twice and uh, the current one are at 76% and vehicle check. Anyway, so you can see a lot of information under the uh, service uh, reset and if you want to reset that you can do so the brake uh, option here is for electric parking brakes which I do not have if you do there is another option there is another good thing for you uh, another feature uh, that you should have the Carly OBD uh, transmission again this is for automatic transmission mine is a manual and there is not much we can do battery sir reset I was just talking a bit earlier about it when you guys change changed the battery uh, now with the newer models you have to reset the service otherwise the car is not gonna recognize the battery uh, the DPF diesel particular filter mine is uh, gasoline but if yours was uh, diesel there you guys have that uh, I don't know NOx catalyst is for uh, anyways I believe it's Ah uh, no guys, sorry. Uh, exhaust flap. Uh, I do not have that uh, option on my car again. So if I go to exhaust flap, this function is not available for the current car. And if you do, guys do have that, it changes the sound of your car when you change, when you activate it and deactivate that. And uh, that was the OBD functions. And there is manuals. Uh, and it shows you a lot of stuff about adapter and then settings but anyways we'll go back to coding so as I said earlier uh, I've tried to use even NCS expert for a few things I wanted to change on the car but it's too risky if you do something wrong with it then you might mess up your uh, cars computer anyways with Carly everything is so easy and I'm gonna show you guys and you can do so much uh, I know there is six modules that I can work on on my car uh, that is something else that uh, I didn't know because you can try a lot of things with uh, NCS expert but uh, if your car doesn't support that then you're gonna get stuck somewhere with Carly it just shows you what modules you can uh, code and whatnot and before it does that uh, before you go to the coding uh, it saves a backup that if something goes wrong then you can go back and uh, uh, reapply the previous or the original uh, options features that you had fine and what's more interesting about Carly because before it goes and uh, codes something uh, it saves there it go backup successfully created and that gives you the peace of mind that you can go ahead and do whatever or try whatever and then you can go back and reinstall the previous version. So comfort start, comfort eject, comfort open using remote. Uh, here I've checked, there is nothing for me that I wanna change here. Comfort open using key locks, comfort closing using key lock, comfort access, 
okay I'm gonna change that to on folding for side view mirrors that's on closing delay mirrors 1.5 seconds that's pretty good deactivate comfort access why not why to <laughs> deactivate that power windows after ignition off we don't need that after ignition easy entry easy entry key one two three four I only have one key so if I do change the first one which I don't need to I'll just leave it like that and uh, lock tailgate when card is locked selective sensor locking unlock fuel ID anyway so in just one module guys under uh, CAS or CAS there is a lot of options so I'm just gonna uh, change one of them I'm gonna click code now and then you have to agree to that and go ahead and click uh, code now okay so coding was successful and then you click OK and for the, the changes for you to see the changes on your car then you have to turn the car off and turn it back on and then you'll be able to see those anyway so we'll go under the IHKA and see what we can change here again backup successfully created save circulation settings show auto in automatic mode blower level during automatic air conditioning blower symbol nothing that I'm interested in under this option here so anyways I'm just gonna go back and there is combi <coughs> I have changed a few things before with Carly here when I was uh, experimenting it and uh, I don't know if there is any other thing that I want to change but if there is I'll show you guys it's very okay so the digital speedometer great feature to have for now I'm gonna keep it under off on off uh, corrected speed correction analog speedometer speed limit warning I don't need that temperature warning uh, better than off ignition key warning GPS time correction I do not have I drive so but I have installed I don't know if that will work so I'm gonna turn that on because of the uh, e anon I have installed I don't think it does work on that but anyways I'm gonna change that to on permanent speedometer lightning uh, momentary fuel consumption cruise control speed display daytime running light in OBC OBC gear shift indicator the gear shift indicator is for automatics so that's nothing uh, I can change for my car since it's a Matthew manual anyway so after you have changed everything you want just click code now you agree to that and it's gonna take a couple of seconds and it's gonna be successfully uh, coded okay so we'll go back under the FRM module uh, let's see here comfort folding for side view mirrors I do have that option it's already okay so that was off before I changed that to on uh, continue uh, window action when door is opened you know when you open the door and you were trying to put the window up it stops when you open the door so you can change that with this uh, feature comfort folding okay seat belt handover I don't know what it is but so I'm gonna leave it off for now flash to pass with back xenon and that's how it is front fog lights comfort standing lights lights on warning uh, hazard lights crash lights one touch turn signal with three uh, blinks okay so after the backup is successfully created wiping intervals stand still uh, three intervals is pretty good wiping interval rear window I do not have that rear wiper in reverse gear yeah I don't have that either windscreen wipers continue okay wipe delay after one second after window cleaning one second headlight cleaning okay so about the headlight cleaning I know that's a pretty cool feature to have guys but I have uh, 
deactivated that because every time you have your headlights on and you want to clean your windshield it sprays uh, windshield fluid on the headlights as well seat belt warning yes i do want that reminder driver of course for the passengers yeah why not so that is for coding as well there is a lot more guys the thing is that my car is a 2006 and that is the reason why i do not have uh any more options here or just six modules that i can uh, i can code but as you saw and again i'll go back under the digital garage here and show you guys uh what has happened you see the coding backups uh, you have even the date there whenever you changed it and if something goes wrong with the new update with the new coding that you uh, Activated then you can just go back here and reinstall it So it's it's very safe. Some people are very concerned like I am with the NCS expert But with the Carly everything is so much easier and having so many uh, features so many functions in just one obd i think it's worth the money and i don't know about you guys but i would recommend i would highly actually recommend uh, carly obd and again check the uh discount code on the description because it's going to be gone uh after i believe two months but i will get a confirmation from carly about that and again i do thank uh uh, Carly manager Victoria she contacted me about uh, uh, doing this uh, review sent me the Carly OBD and uh, the Carly uh, Carly app for free thank you very much Victoria I really appreciate it and uh, again so far Carly is the best uh, OBD for me and I highly recommend it for everyone and of course that I'm gonna be using it thank you very much again guys hope you enjoyed the video if you find it helpful please give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one